Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this morning I've just travelled 80 miles from home up to where I am just now on the outskirts of Dalwhinnie in the Scottish Highlands. I came up on the wee Royal Enfield and I'm going to travel along what I consider to be one of the best roads in Scotland for motorcycling. There's one just passing, just and going to enjoy it. It's a 35 mile stretch of road from here and the outskirts of Dalwhinnie over to Spean Bridge. So, let's get on the bike, let's go along and let's see what it's all about. So, we're just entering uh, Dalwhinnie just now. We're in a part of Scotland that's famous for whisky production. And what we're just going to pass just now is the Dalwhinnie Whisky Distillery. It's a major industry in Scotland. That's for sure. This truly is a really scenic road up here. It's fantastic for bikes. It's a good surface, there's some wonderful winding, twisting roads. The scenery is fantastic. The hills you can see in the background, it just looks wonderful. You probably won't get the full effect from the camera because it pushes them away so much, but uh, from my position on the bike, it's just fantastic, it really is. The weather today it's just perfect as well. It's meant to be a warm, hot, sunny day. Temperatures are meant to get up to the mid-twenties. <laughs> For Scotland, that's hot. I've got a long day planned. I reckon by the time I get home tonight, I'll have travelled nearly 350 miles on this wee bike. <laughs> it's a long, long day in a, a 20 horsepower well, little Royal Enfield. But the wee Enfield, you can you go at a pace that you can actually really enjoy it. You don't have to concentrate quite so much on every corner because you know the wee bike's just going to take you around. But look at this road, look at this scenery, the way it just opens up. <laughs> it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is what this road is like, the majority of it. It's just lovely flowing bends. through beautiful scenery. There's a wee coffee shop in just in here, just on this corner. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called. The coffee and cakes and yummy things. I've never actually been in it myself, but I know people who have and they say it's really, really nice. We turn on the A, onto the A86 here now from towards Speeden Bridge. It's a slightly wider road than the one we just came off. Days like this, you really do see Scotland at its best. It's a beautiful country. It really is. It's still a real unspoilt look about it. Spe especially in this area. It is just fantastic. Try and get past these though, if I can find a spot. It's not so easy to squirt past things on the, the BN field though. You have to find, choose your moment. You can come around this corner here and the view over to the, the water there. Wow, <laughs> even look at that, it's even got a beach. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, take a chance, that wee boy. The wee end feels running well. It really enjoys these this, this type of run and this kind of road. It's a great wee bike. It just you, it fills you with confidence. You just know you can just jump on it, take it anywhere. And it'll just it'll get you there. 
it's comfortable it runs really well it's a great little machine the road's opened up a lot more now it's a bit wider there's more overtaking opportunities those rapids buses you see them all over scotland it's a very tour company and it's run small more mini buses and they take you on places that the normal tour buses just never go all the wee beautiful wee nooks and crannies all over the Scotland, especially over the west coast. Yeah, if you wanted to see the real Scotland by a bus, that would be the one to actually use. They'd be great. Actually, the water level's really low in the dam. I don't think I've ever seen it as low as that before. It's a beautiful little dam to stop at. I'm surprised at the water level though. I've stopped it a few times. I've never ever seen the dam as low as that before. <laughs> it was nice to see the tour bus, all the people coming in. There was quite a few who looked like Indian. Uh, and there were th quite a few of them wanting to get their photograph taken beside the, the Enfield. <laughs> Welcome to Speenbridge. At the junction here, if we turned left, that would take us down to Fort William. Or if we, I mean, we're going to turn up to the right here at the moment. But this road will take you up to Inverness, or the roads to Sky in that area. I'm just going to pull in here. This is where I was going to end today's run. I thought I would end this video here, this fabulous little spot at Speenbridge at the Royal Marine Commando Memorial in memory of the officers and men of the commandos who died in the Second World War 1939 to 1945. This country was their training ground. Yes, yeah, that's exactly why this monument is here. And this, all these hills in the surrounding areas where the Marines all trained. Look at that! There's another one! And another one! Wow! I think there was my 
to be only two or three of them. Well, I was going to end this video at this point. It was just that we ran over from Dalwini to Spain Bridge and with the wee added bonus of the wee visit to the Commando Memorial here. That's, uh, and the wee added feature that I put in was the wee flyby of a Cup 2 attack helicopter. <laughs> I just happened to have stopped just at that perfect time to catch them. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this wee video. Uh, if you have, why not subscribe to the channel? It doesn't really cost you anything, it's totally free, and you'll be notified of any upcoming videos that I put on. Anyway, hopefully I'll catch you again on another video. Take care, ride safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.